welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain properties of arithmetic mean so what is the first property property number 1 algebraic sum of algebraic sum of the deviations algebraic sum of the deviations of a set of values of a set of values set of values from arithmetic mean is zero from their arithmetic mean their arithmetic mean is zero see the property algebraic sum of the deviations of a set of values from their arithmetic mean is zero first of all what is deviation deviation means uh, for example if x1 x2 and so on xn are the observations then deviation for example you consider a is an arbitrary point the deviation is xi minus a so generally we call di di is equal to xi minus a this is called deviation now for example xi by fi i is equal to 1 2 and so on n is a set of is a frequent uh, frequency distribution is a grouped frequency distribution generally it is represented in this fashion xi by fi which means uh, uh, the data consists of observation xi and frequency fi and if you consider n of n set of values are there then this is known as grouped frequency distribution or if simply a frequency distribution which means uh, for a frequency distribution this property is going to be expressed as uh, the algebraic sum of the deviations of a set of values this is a set of values xi by fi the frequency set of values a frequency distribution from their arithmetic mean is zero that is uh, we have to state some of the deviations that is deviations means uh, we write uh, for a grouped frequency distribution summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into deviations xi minus from their mean and instead of x uh, x instead of a we have to consider x bar that is summation fi into xi minus x bar it, it is going to be proved as zero this is the property so these are the deviations from the arithmetic mean xi minus x bar i am including frequency for a frequency distribution i am including frequency so summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into xi minus x bar becomes zero that is called algebraic sum of deviations deviations is xi minus x bar multiplied by fi of a set of values from their arithmetic mean deviations from the arithmetic mean that is xi minus x bar the a is equal to we are considering x bar okay it is zero that is what we have to prove so now if we come to um, part of the proof uh, so consider this consider summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into xi minus x bar it is equivalent to b Uh, take the summations separate the summation summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into xi first term xi fi into xi minus summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into x bar so is equivalent to be uh, if you recollect the formula i uh, formula for arithmetic mean x bar is equal to for the grouped frequency distribution it is uh, summation i is equal to 1 to n fi xi divided by capital n what is capital n capital n is equal to summation fi i write capital n here capital n is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to small n fi frequency sum of the frequency so if you take capital n left hand side then n into x bar is equal to we can write summation i is equal to 1 to n fi xi what is this summation fi xi is equal to n into x bar therefore i am writing n into x bar minus uh, x bar i am taking outside x bar into summation i is equal to 1 to n fi because uh, uh, 
uh, x bar does not depend on summation with respect to i. So it's a constant. So I'm taking constant outside. X bar into summation i is equal to 1 to n fi. So it is nothing but we can write n into x bar minus x bar into what is summation fi? It is capital N total frequency. Therefore, it is capital N. X bar into capital N. So n into x bar, n into x bar. Let it cancel. It is equal to 0. So we have proved that uh, summation fi into xi minus x bar is equal to 0. That is uh, algebraic sum of deviations of a set of values from their arithmetic mean is always 0. Do you understand the property? The first is the first property of arithmetic mean. Second one, what is the second property of arithmetic mean? The sum of the squares, the sum of the sum of the squares. Some of the squares of the deviations of the deviations deviations of a set of values of a set of values set of values uh, is minimum set of values is minimum when taken about uh, when taken about uh, mean. So, uh, the property speaks, uh, um, whatever you consider sum of the squares of the deviations, uh, which is minimum when it is taken about mean. It is minimum when it is taken about mean. For which uh, I consider uh, xi by fi, it is a frequency uh, distribution uh, set of values i is equal to 1 to and so on m for which I am considering sum of the squares of the deviations. That is, I am considering a function, sum of the squares of the deviations, z is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n, I am including frequency fi, sum of the uh, squares of the deviations. Deviations is xi minus a, I consider, so xi minus a whole square. So, sum of the squares of the deviations, now sum of the squares of the deviations. Summation i is equal to 1 to n, fi into xi minus a whole square. I always include frequency, fi. You remember that uh, because uh, it is a frequency related with the uh, observation. Always uh, all the observation depends on the frequency. Okay. Frequency depends on the observations. So, so summation i is equal to 1 to n, fi into xi minus a whole square. This is sum of the squares of the deviations uh, of a set of values. Uh, it is minimum about uh, mean that is I have to prove that a is equal to x bar for uh, taking the this particular function is minimum that is uh, I am using principle of uh, uh, maxima and minima uh, for which uh, I consider first of all I differentiate dou z by uh, that is z with respect to a and it equates to 0 right uh, and dou z by dou a is equivalent to 0. Uh, for which you differentiate it, it is a very simple part of differentiation. Um, that is, uh, uh, if you consider this is a uh, sum of the f of x whole square, that is function of x whole square, uh, which differentiation is 2 into f of x, that is 2 multiplied by summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into x i minus a, right? Multiplied by x i, x i minus a differentiation x a differentiation is 0 with respect to a and minus a differentiation is minus 1. Hope you understand this is what the differentiation uh, it is let it be equivalent to 0 and which implies 2 cannot be 0 and minus 1 cannot be 0 and uh, summation f i into x i minus a can it is going to be taken as 0. So, summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into x i minus a is equal to be 0 which implies uh, uh, I am separating the summation so that uh, uh, summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into uh, x i minus uh, summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into a is equivalent to be 0. So, summation f i x i is nothing but uh, n into x bar capital N into x bar. Uh, just now we have discussed that summation f i is capital N, a is constant. So, a into uh, n that is n multiplied by a because a is a constant it is summation f i capital N. So, we can cancel out uh, capital N and then uh, uh, if you take the right hand side uh, the um, 
one value on the right hand side then therefore x bar is equal to a which implies a is equal to x bar so we have proved that a is equal to x bar provided that uh, it is uh, when it is going to be taken as uh, considered as uh, the minimum value if you prove that uh, if you prove that uh, second differentiation that is dou square z by uh, dou, dou a square if it is that is uh, if it is uh, if we have proved that uh, it is greater than zero then only a is equal to x bar provides a minimum value isn't it that is the uh, uh, rule of the that is uh, principle of the uh, principle of uh, n n principle of maxima and minima right if you want to calculate if you want to prove that this is uh, uh, this gives uh, uh, minimum value this function is minimum value um, for the variations in a for the ordinary constant a uh, we must have to prove that uh, and the second differentiation uh, must be is greater than zero must be greater than zero we have to prove it so i am considering dou by dou a of dou z by dou a is equivalent to be dou by dou a of uh, already we have calculated first differentiation what is that dou z by dou a is this this is dou, dou z by dou a that is first differentiation that is i am taking minus 2 multiplied by if you differentiate uh, this again minus 2 into summation f i into summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into x i minus a differentiation that is uh, x i differentiation is 0 minus a differentiation is minus 1 right what i have to consider this just i have to consider first of all function uh, yeah i have differentiated therefore and this is what uh, dou z by dou a this is dou z by dou a first differentiation and for which uh, i am doing differentiation again right so i have differentiated already right this is the function minus 2 into that is this for this function i have differentiated uh, with respect to a that is 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and now i have differentiated this function summation f i into x i differentiation 0 minus a differentiation minus 1 so this is nothing but uh, so is equivalent to be minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2 and uh, summation fi is capital n so capital n is always greater than 0 so 2n is always greater than 0 therefore dou square z by dou square z by dou a square it is always greater than 0 so differentiation is finished hope you understand the differentiation was finished here this is first differentiation this is second differentiation so is equal to 2n it is always greater than 0 therefore second differentiation is greater than 0 therefore a is equal to x bar will give the minimum value provides minimum value for this function z z is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n the fi into x i minus a whole square so what is this this function sum of the squares of the deviations of a set of values it is taking to be taking the minimum value for a is equal to x bar what is x bar the arithmetic mean that is uh, sum of the squares of the deviations of a set of values is minimum when it is taken about mean when it is taken about mean that is the second property these are the two important properties of arithmetic mean two important properties of arithmetic mean the third one is also there that is a composite uh, uh, mean component mean of the composite series um, that uh, easily can be uh, done by the um, students right uh, you can easily uh, read from the um, text any can any textbook uh, so that uh, just by referring that you can easily understand these are the two properties are going to be um, explained to um, to understand so hope you understand these are the two properties uh, i have explained of for uh, for arithmetic mean thank you